Hey Nick, it's Miss Allison. It's so great to see you and meet you, and I'm sorry that we're not doing this in person right now. It's kind of a crazy day with maps testing, so I appreciate your patience, but I wanted to send you a quick tutorial on Schoology because you asked for it, so let's take a look together. So when you go to Schoology, it should look something like this. It will look a little bit different for you because you have the student version and I have the teacher version. However, this is what we're looking for. You're going to look at courses first. So when you click here, you can see our advisory course, you can see English, and then you'll have your other classes, math and social studies and science, whatever your elective is, okay? So that's the first place you need to look. A couple other things up here that you might want to know about. This is just kind of your dashboard here. Notifications up top. Mail should not be um, hooked up for you. You don't need that. And then this is your calendar. And you and I are going to meet at some point and get your calendar set up. But if you want to play with it today, you can. So here is our courses. We're going to click on English class. Now in all of your courses, for all of your teachers, we have decided to do this um, as similar as possible to help you. Again, it'll look a little different for you, but you will see our updates. So for instance, I will put every day what's going on that day. We have synchronous and asynchronous work. Synchronous means that we are together in a meeting, so in a live meeting together um, or in a class. Asynchronous means that you are doing it on your own. So you can see those two different things there. Um, every morning by 8 o'clock, this will be updated for all of your teachers. English class is first. It's from 8.30 to 9.45, so I suggest checking here first. And you can plan your day out so you can know if we're meeting together or not and where that is. This is under the Updates tab, so make sure that is selected. And then as you go down, you can see I put an update for the week um, uh, by the end of the week or on Sundays, just so you know. Some announcements. This one's about the gradebook. And then down here, you can see this is the Google Meet link. So this is where we will always use um, for office hours. And I will change the title of that to say office hours. That would make more sense. But you can see here when my office hours meet, and then the link is right here. Really great time to come either say hey if you want or get some help. We can talk more about what that's used for. Um, and then just some more things about English down here you can use if you would like, okay? So that's going to be how to get to basic information. The other couple things over here, yours looks a little bit different, but if you click on grades, it will give you a list of your assignments and how you are doing on them. You won't have grades today, of course, but that's a really good thing to look at, and we're going to learn how to do that together here. This one is called materials. So if you click here, again, it's going to look different. I have extras, but you can start clicking through if you want, Nick, and look at some of the work we've done. I'm not expecting you to go back and do any of this work. You're just fresh start today with us. But if you want to see what we were doing, you can go back and take a look at some of the stuff um, from the past couple weeks. So you can look in here and when you click on a folder, you'll be able to see just the different assignments and things that I have set up for you. Okay. So I know that is a very quick tutorial, but hopefully that gets you started. If you have more questions, please let me know. We are doing maps today, but I'm trying to email back as fast as I can in between helping kids with that. So just let me know what I can be doing for you, and I am so excited to see you. Thanks.